Hi, I'm Ryan Lynch, and I'm going to be reading a short extract from my YA LGBTQ plus thriller called Straight Faced. Straight Faced is about 16 year old Freddy who is struggling with his sexuality and who gets caught up in a hate crime where the victim of the hate crime is the boy that he's secretly been seeing. This extract is a flashback that happens two months before the present day of the story. Two months before the party. As soon as I'd messaged Aspen for the first time, I wanted to reach into the cyberspace and drag the message back out again. I saw his silhouette through the frosted glass. I knew he could probably see me too, standing there, like an idiot, my hand on the doorknob, but I couldn't make myself open it. He knocked on the glass, making me jump, and my sweaty palm slipped from the handle. I wish I'd drunk more than the two beers before he came over. Maybe then I wouldn't have acted like such a wuss. I took a deep breath, opened the door, and there he was, standing in front of me, that stupid smile spread across his face, the one that makes my insides feel like jelly. I moved to one side and silently gestured for him to come in like I was a bloody mime artist. Do you want a beer? I asked as soon as we were in the living room. Neither of us sat down. I stood nervously in the middle of the room and he just stood at the doorway looking around my house for the first time. Um, he laughed. No thanks. I don't really like beer. I laughed too, for way too long, like a madman. I don't know why, nothing was funny. He just stood there staring at me, one eyebrow raised so high I thought he was about to take off. So, why did you want me to come over, Freddy? The question swam around my head as I walked past him into the kitchen. I think my dad's got a bottle of wine somewhere. Got given it on one of his campaign things, I said, rummaging through the cupboard. He doesn't drink it, he calls it a woman's drink. Do you want a glass of that instead? I realised how that sounded straight away. I kept my back to him and just carried on fumbling through the cupboard, hoping he'd reply soon so I didn't have to turn around and look at him. When he didn't say anything, I checked to see if he was even still behind me. I wouldn't have blamed him for walking straight out the front door, but he didn't. He was still there, standing with his elbows on the kitchen island, chin resting in his palms and his face was scrunched up because he was trying not to laugh. A woman's drink, he said between laughs. Sounds like your dad's been doing one of those what does your drink say about you Buzzfeed quizzes. I wonder if he's done the one to find out which Kardashian he is or which Harry Potter house he belongs in. I couldn't stop the smile that pulled at the corners of my mouth. How do you think he would categorise a vodka and coke? Aspen said, scratching his chin like he was really thinking about it. Pretty gender neutral that one if you ask me. One for the non-binary maybe? I didn't even know what non-binary was, but his laugh was so infectious that I couldn't help but join in. I finally felt myself relax. So was that a yes to the wine? I asked as I grabbed the bottle. I'm fine actually, thanks though. He pulled out one of the stools and sat opposite me at the kitchen island, drumming his fingers on the counter. Seriously though, Freddy, what is this?